I never knew so much because like there was no one to teach me. How did you originally learn? Testing. Testing. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah. But luckily, my the same cousin I tattooed was um, he always like between him and my stepdad, they always forced me to do things. So I was like peer pressured and because like I just wanted to practice on like fake skin and like stuff, but like they yeah. would just force me to literally tattoo them, and um, eventually I like got decent enough to like kind of throw down. Yeah. And then, uh, then I just went for it. But yeah, there's it's it's very tough because I didn't have um, like a mentor or anything. Yeah, because like no one wanted to teach. It's very hard to find uh, an apprenticeship in tattooing. I was gonna say, so when you said you worked in shops and they kept closing, like that was after you already learned the talk. Yeah, like, like, which sucked because like they're like, nah, you're good enough to work. And I'm like, I don't want to learn. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, I want to get better. And the shops I was at, the like nothing against the owners or anything, but they weren't. They weren't doing like really good work, but they're the only people that would give me great opp the opportunity mm -hmm. to do anything. Like take what you can get. Yeah, exactly. So I was like forced to. That's one thing. Like if I when we open the shop, I want to offer apprenticeships and guidance, and because like there's way too many doors closed on so many people. Mm -hmm. So it's just gonna be like a place for opportunity. Like if I can't get the opportunity, at least I can build the build opportunity for others. That's the dad in you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah. tattooing what's happening guys so we have another one I didn't film pretty much all week I just been working on this 3d modeling of this necklace I'm working on so not much to be shown but a lot of work done so got some really cool designs done this week as always and uh, yeah I'm just getting prepped for today's tattoo hopefully it should be going it's gonna it's uh, doing some lettering some some script some script later rain dog. So yeah, I'm excited. We'll uh about to get prepped now, so Hello. Going to go get some food with the family, and life is going to be superb. I think those pieces came out really, really, really clean and dope. I'm happy with it. I don't even know if I got footage of the second one, and I'm filming my chin as I always do, but I'm um, really happy. Find myself improving in many, many different areas that I used to struggle with, which is always good because you always want improvement, you always want to get better, and also you want to feel confident, like with the pieces you're doing, because um, nothing's worse than not, like, wanting to be good and sucking is the worst feeling ever. But we're gonna get the fam squad, do our thing with something, some ring, a pie, I don't know, I'm pumped though. Should be a good time, the fam squads. Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> Did you go. lock the house? Yeah, I think so. You think stop? I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day long. That's all good though. We got the work done. We're doing work out here. We're doing nothing but working. I loved your daughter. I do. I like that you came in and you used to kept me company. He and I didn't really do a good managing job at filming today. I like have a couple clips from the tattoo, but not a lot. Lena comes running down. Mom, come up. She really wants to meet you. So I come up and like, I asked Ryan afterwards and he's like, no, is that why you 
you came up. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh it's funny. It's prank wars. <laughs> Yeah, Lena did prank me today. That's the prank. She put tape on my drink and I couldn't get it off, so I couldn't drink my drink. <laughs> when you're at the Wawa cup? No, not my. Oh, why did you say Wawa? A why are you holding it like that? Because my arm doesn't. My stomach feels like. Hey, an Lena, empty taco. Tell me guys. I don't know what to say. Hey guys, so. So, my dad is that here. And. And he's like, he's had to do for a whole entire day. Well, like not a whole, whole. Let's just say it's not a whole, whole entire day. Tell them what you did. We're just heading to the Gummy and Mall. And I felt nauseous there. And you get some merch from my dad. So, um, he has Best much ever. Look at this. Shoot. Hi, Mom. Go alone. How are we supposed to win? I don't like you. You pranked me three times today. <laughs> Actually, it was one prank in the whole day. One? You told me, ah, oh, she really wants to meet you. She put tape on my drink. And then she put tape all over the house. What other Even on a mirror. What other prank? You scared me last night. I want to see this hippopotamus. <laughs> Calendar. <laughs> That looks like a seated bum. <laughs> you want me a hamburger and drink? French fries! Alright, my guys, that is it. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Uh, kind of a super, super happy with the outcome of this last weekend's tattoos. Um, the weekend prior to that, I did not, it was just the first session, so I didn't complete it. So I'm going to take all that footage and put it in the, oh no. I'm gonna put it into uh, all in one video. So that way we can keep it all together and all set. So, uh, but yeah, successful week, successful weekend. I'm going to pretty much kind of work on a few things. What I have this week, I wanted to edit this video, designing some new stuff for November. I think our next collection is gonna come out in November. I have to get ready for the fashion show we have this weekend. Um, it's going to be, um, so yeah, kind of a busy week, but nothing that we can't handle. And we, oh, I got Super Smash Brothers for the Switch. Pretty good, I've actually enjoyed it. I've just been, uh, the past couple days, I've been really, really exhausted. Um, I was tattooing most of the day Saturday, and uh, it was a great experience, and I've always struggled with um, lettering. I always liked it. I just was never good at it. and um, to finally execute pretty much damn near clean pieces because there was two um, and if you, if you haven't seen them go on my Instagram page I have them posted there but they came out really clean and I'm so proud of, proud of them and to be able to put out good quality is just um, it's just, it means a lot to me because I've worked, um, although I haven't been back long, I've worked so long. So I've put so much time and effort into tattooing, even though I've taken a hiatus in my first couple months back, but um, I feel super confident and um, going into these next couple pieces. I'm pretty much booked out till the beginning of December, which is pretty cool. And uh, so we're just rocking, heading towards our goal, and we're gonna get there little by little, I think. Uh, we're right on, we're pretty much right on, on time, on, on pace. We're on pace. We're on pace to, to reach our goal. So I'm excited and we're gonna do it. 
continue to get better, continue to grow. And uh, I have really some really, really cool pieces coming up. Some uh, I have a phoenix bursting out of flames, a wolf's head, a uh, Spartan warrior, uh, some more lettering, which I'm excited. I always like lettering because it, it, when you have smaller tattoos, um, you pretty much have to hit it. You have to hit perfection on a different level because it's, you know, the, with bigger tattoos, if you know there's shape to it, there's not very many straight lines or perfect curves. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Monday. Happy Tuesday. Probably happy Tuesday. I'll catch you in the next one. I'll let you boys. Ow.